Hey everyone, and welcome to question one associated with the study designs lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, we are evaluating a possible association between hot tub usage and development of interstitial lung disease. Using data from 2000 to 2010, we compare rates of ILD development between patients reporting hot tub usage compared to those denying hot tub usage. What study design was used and what is the appropriate measure of association? So using the algorithm that we decided upon in the lecture, our first step would be to ask, is our patients being assigned to groups? And in this case, that can't be the case. Patients are not being assigned to groups. We're using data that was already available. So then we know we're dealing with one of the observational study groups, uh, study designs, either a cross-sectional study, a cohort study, or a case control. So then we ask, how are patients grouped? And in this case, we see the two patient groups are those with hot tub usage, so exposure positive, and those without hot tub usage, exposure negative, and we're asking how many develop ILD. So in this case, because we are grouping patients by exposure status, we know that this is a cohort study. And I just wanna emphasize the fact that cohort studies can be both uh, prospective and retrospective. In this case, assuming you're watching the video sometime after 2021, um, we're using data from the past. So this is a retrospective study. But again, the key concept is that we're grouping patients based on exposure status, and therefore we are dealing with a cohort study. If you had trouble with this question, I recommend going back and watching the associated lecture. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.